Hey all you wonderful people, welcome to Adventure Together. My name's Al, trail name Lookout. And today, I am leaving Lawsburg very, very late. I got caught in a uh, social situation with all the hikers. I was having such a good time talking to everyone that it's now midday and I should have left about five hours ago, but I just enjoyed chatting. So I thought, why not wait until uh, a little bit later and uh, why not just enjoy speaking to people so I'm leaving a little bit later I'm not doing as many miles today I did a little bit of questioning of how's everyone feeling after this first stretch and it seems most people are feeling the same which is they're feeling tired their muscles are aching their hips are tight their feet are hurting their appetite is gone they're not feeling too well feeling exhausted by the sun so at least we're all in the same boat my feet aren't hurting but yeah my hips are tight and yes I've lost my appetite and I'm not really feeling the greatest feeling a bit sort of nauseous at times but I think that goes to show that it's all part of the adjustment period getting used to doing big miles One thing I'm really happy about is that it is not super, super windy. I'm able to talk to you without the microphone being immersed in wind noise. So that's good. The problem with no wind is it doesn't take away the heat. And uh, I've got the umbrella up now to keep me cool. Gila Cliff Dwellings. I'll be there in a few days. I think they are after Silver City. I'm not sure. Yep, same turn going to Silver City. The road walk doesn't end, it just continues. Yeah, the heat's not great. Just completely exposed to the sun. I'm so thankful I have this umbrella. It just makes everything a little bit cooler with it's silver reflecting all the sun off the top. I'm still hot though. Whew, sweaty mess already. I just showered in a, this morning and I'm already a sweaty mess. This isn't what I signed up for. I thought I'd be clean and fresh all day for 3,000 miles. So the map says that it goes right across that field. And I was like, okay. I read earlier that you had to crawl under a fence and I looked along and I saw this track through the undergrowth and it looks like some hikers have pulled the barbed wire fence all the way up so you can see it's down to the floor over there and here it's just all bunched together so let's see you about crawling under. You ever get the feeling you're being watched?
No need to get up on my account, guys. You enjoy your little shady spot. What's more secure than one padlock? Let's try 13 padlocks. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how far we've come. All the way over there at the foot of those hills. It's Lordsburg and we've walked all the way here. I put my umbrella here so that I can reach it if I need to. And every time I look over out from the peripheral vision, I feel like someone's standing right on my shoulder. So I'm like, whoa, every, <laughs> every time. And uh, you think I'd get used to it by now, but sadly not. I've just started walking up this road and you've got these flat rocks but here you have an overhanging tree with some fantastic shade so I think I'm gonna make that my camp for tonight it's six o'clock already I think uh, no point pressing on just make camp have something to eat and start early tomorrow and make some miles up tomorrow so ladies and gentlemen I have made my camp under this tree it was very shady until the sun got low in the sky and now it's shining on the side of my face but it does mean that it's going to be a beautiful sunset and I'm going to have a direct view of it. So that little walk out of Lordsburg really took it out of me. Those six hours I was able to do, I think it was 14.6 miles. So I wasn't going my fastest pace, but it's, uh, it's not a bad effort. So I'm going to uh, get an early night and an early start tomorrow back on it, back on trail at 5 a.m. And for now, I'm just gonna watch the sun go down. So if you wanna join me for that, stick around. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.